What's up, big boy? Why are you in your underwear? What the hell is going on? What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off-Road Podcast. I'm Big Z, and I am on top of a house huh? with three topless guys in a hot tub. So I don't really know what's going on around here. Three but men in a hot tub. I'm joined by the crew from Dune and Stroy <laughs> and Adrian. Why don't you guys just go through real quick and introduce yourselves, starting from the far left. Kyle, why don't you just introduce yourself? Yo, this is Kyle. <laughs> from Dune and Stroy. Dude, that was so Cal DJ, DJ intro. <laughs> what's your full name, and, and what are you up to? Kyle Linton from San Diego. Uh, one of the drivers and owners of Dune and Destroy. Uh, we're out here in San Hollow for UTV Takeover. Yeah, it's been a good time. Adrian, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, Adrian Oriana, uh, factory Polaris Razor. Oh, uh, I drive the 1985 uh, Polaris <laughs> Razor. <laughs> Did you say 1985? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's his race number. That's the race number. <laughs> it's also the year he was born, ladies. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So. And I am uh, John Parleski, also one of the drivers and owners of Dune and Destroy, and I recently moved to Yuma, Arizona. Hey guys. <laughs> he, he's practically from Yuma, Arizona. Yeah. Actually, Just I'm from Yuma, Arizona. Stop stealing my ago. city, bro. <laughs> moved there from three San months Diego. ago, and now he's up here. <laughs> so, uh, there now. so we met up here at the takeover. You guys arrived, uh, what, Tuesday? Uh, Wednesday? 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 Wednesday night, yeah. Uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, what have you guys been up to? Dude. We uh, went up the water <laughs> up to the waterfall. It's not, I guess, it's not San Hollow, which I found out yesterday. Tor- Torqueville, Torqueville, Tor- Torqueville. Tor- Did you bring the torque? Torqueville Falls? Oh, Did you bring the torque to Torqueville? It's in Hurricane. I mean, Adrian oh, set the did. tone doing a burnout right on, on all these rocks, and then everybody decided to light it up. It was it was awesome. Except for you, right Kyle. Like, hey, yeah, you know dude. my car's not tuned, so as soon as I hit over seven thousand, eight thousand RPMs, it falls flat. Does he make excuses for everything? He does. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I also did not do a burnout, and that's because my car was in lit mode, because my <laughs> clutches got soaked. So, wait, oh, so does he just, always make excuses? <laughs> I just want to point out, every time I've seen you, you've been working on your car. Oh, and that the was, clutches specifically. That was Oregon. No, that yeah. was a fuel pump. That oh. was Oregon, yeah. That was Oregon, and, and uh, yeah, I was fighting a lot of demons that trip, but I have since replaced a lot of parts, <laughs> and the car is at 100% right have now. You, have you been really replacing good. parts at home, or actually where you're going? <laughs> No, at, at home and I heard you work on your car when you go to events. Um, I have, yes, <laughs> in the past, but I haven't had to work on my car at all at all this trip, other than pulling the clutch cover off. Uh, other like, than working on your car, just to no, just to make sure things are uh, draining. I've got a hole in my clutch cover, and so from a rock from you know Yuma riding around. So, <laughs> so. Yuma. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, they, my clutch has got. Uh, Adrian led me right into a deep hole that was probably deeper than this jacuzzi yesterday it's pretty awesome you're going through the, yeah. the streams you're doing you know so explain the, the trail river. real quick because you get to the trailhead you hit you hit what yeah so we exit off what the nine or whatever the, yeah. the sr9 and it right away just turns into like tight and twisty trails and all that and uh it's it's super cool because all of a sudden you're just kind of in the canyons and then through rocks and then you just dive into the little river and or stream and uh you Go up the stream, bouncing, rock crawling through the water, which is something I've never done before. And then it's cool to see, you know, people that have never done that either that, you know, aren't experienced to the articulation and, and all that stuff and, and just the reaction. Yeah, go ahead and tell them, Adrian. Go ahead. <laughs> I, know you, I, know, I know you're leading and to this stuff. And the clicking uh, and the noise. <clears throat> so that's what he hit me up with is after we pulled over, he's like, hey, can you come and check out my front of my car? It's making a lot of weird noises, dude. <clears throat> Checking axles and all that stuff. But it's it's all normal with, you know, these cars. that It, it clicks and it makes a little bit of noise. Um, but, yeah, so super cool going up that. And then all of a sudden you just bank right, and then there's, like, huge waterfalls right there. Yeah. So we got to experience that and hang out together and all that stuff and make a little intimate moment. More, no, not as intimate as not this. As in- no, we, we yeah. bring the intimate to the yeah. show is what we do. The intimacy, yeah. yes. <laughs> I, was out, I was out here enjoying on my own. Nice sunrise. Living life large up here. Yeah. And we had so, to hop in. Yeah. So we're up in uh, San Hollow in the Hurricane. Uh, what is it? The Hurricane Resort. Hurricane. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get yeah. offensive oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. here hurricane. by saying hurricane. hurricane. You got to say it like a Utah. Mm. A Utah hurricane. 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 You got to give a Lamborghini. A you got to kind of cough when you do it. You got to do. Yeah. You got to bring yeah. COVID hurricane. into it. You have to. Hurricane. <laughs> well, Adrian, roll your arts. Hurricane. Hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, uh, Dune and Destroy, you guys have been around for the last few years, right? You've been building a social uh, following on, on yes, the sir. Instagram and, yes, and whatnot. Sir. Um, how did Dune and Destroy get started, and, and what happened? What brought you guys together? Um, so there's like kind of two stories to it. Well. There's two like, versions, and well, we have like reasons behind what it means to each of us. Yeah. So. So why don't you kind of just give everybody the synopsis of the name, and then go into like how you started it? Okay. So like how we started it was Camp Razor and John. Hey, can you guys keep your hands above the water? I don't want any funny. Oh stuff wow, this got awkward. Yeah. Trying Did to tell. It's stiff. It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's why you're stiff. That <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, it was Camp Razor 2018? Uh, Eight, no, 17. Maybe 17. Back when you had a YXZ, yeah. poor guy. Ooh. So right after yeah. their big Razor Turbo launch and all that. Jazz. Yeah, yeah. So, and John wadded the front end of his car, trying to, like, pass me in a dune through a witch's eye and just stuffed it. Yeah, car yeah. completely disappeared. Like you knew each other at that time or not? Yeah, uh, yeah we okay. did. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were just... We, our, <laughs> we had been camping with each other. A couple, that was like our second time. Third time yeah, camping second together. time camping together. Yeah, something like that. And it, it kind of just ago. escalated from there. But he's like, "Hey, I kind of want to start this thing." You know, what well, do you think I already had Dude and Destroy on the car at that time, on the Wag Z. Remember? Yeah, this and it was just you, versions. right? <laughs> and I told you, I'm like, "Hey, if you get the page to a thousand followers, I'll jump in. I'm on board." Yeah. And he wanted his car, and because it, uh, UTV fails, posted it. And then it went, he it went, went over crazy. a thousand followers. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm in, let's do something. It went crazy. We got over a thousand followers yeah. that we got. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> but uh, For a brand new page. For like the name for me is like, it's not necessarily, hey, let's go out and just go f up our shit every time. Let's. This is a family friendly show. Is it family friendly? I know the, I know the producer. We can Are you going to beep, 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 beep? Okay. We're not going to go <laughs> out there and mess up our stuff every time. And <laughs> so for me, it's, you know, just drive hard. You're destroying it. You're killing it. But John has a different version of what it means. I do have a different version of what that means. Do you have a different version of how it started? Yeah. <laughs> underline, underline the second word. So in the for name. Kyle, it started Camp Razor 2018 or 2017, whatever. For me, it started uh, about the time I was three years old. Wow. <laughs> when I was going to going to Glamis and Gordon's and Buttercup. And, and you, were, uh, you had a social media following when you yeah, were three years totally old. Yeah, totally did. <laughs> you know, been been living the dream for a long time. Diaper underscore hashtag. <laughs> I apologize for not paying attention. This guy's just touching my leg all the time. <laughs> That's maybe. Um, but yeah, no, it's I mean, unhealthy. it's it's. <laughs> I've always been the person in our group, whatever group we've ever been in, from the time I was a kid till now, where. A, nobody wants me to ride or drive any of their stuff because it's going to come back broken. <laughs> um, and my own stuff is usually wadded or broken. And it's just because I I like to push the limits. And so Dune and Destroy for me was obviously we love to Dune. Like Glamis is our, is our home. You know, I didn't move close to Glamis for nothing. Um, in Yuma. In Yuma. Yuma. And... I'm constantly destroying myself, so it was a easy piece together for me. I was like, I like to do, I like to destroy, Pfft, done, right. do and destroy. <laughs> and so, where are you guys originally from? Um, I'm from. I mean, you're from Yuma, but <laughs> you're from Yuma. <laughs> I'm from Yuma, yeah. San Diego. I'm from, yeah, from San Diego, Poway. Okay. Poway. 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 Bringing Poway. the kid. Poway. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, and I'm Adrian, where, how did you get connected with these fools? <laughs> PRP. Yeah. yeah. So give us a little background on where you work, what you do, and then, you know, how you got into the sport. Yeah. So uh, I started off-road racing in, like, 96 with my uh, my dad racing the score series and all that, like, 516s, 1216s, and all that stuff. So big racing background. Um, typical kid, you know, kind of getting in trouble and all that kind of fun stuff. And my dad pushed me into the racing stuff. So I started doing downhill mountain bikes, started traveling around with that, um, raced, you know, small dirt bike series and all that stuff uh, around San Diego and all that when we had tracks there. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, the whole recession hit. We had to get rid of the race car and all that stuff in, like, you know, 01, 02. Um, and at that point, I needed something to kind of fill fill the void, so uh, I found the fire service and um, just dove into that head first and, and haven't looked back since. I've been a firefighter for like 15 years now. Shout out to the young. first responders and all those guys. <laughs> Adrian's a firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of our fill-in so. Shannon right now. <laughs> Shannon's, fir Shannon's a first responder. He's <laughs> a police <laughs> officer. So. Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> yeah. um, not trying to take a spot. 
Uh, he's a little bit cuter. Yeah, so, uh, he's on the way out, so yeah. don't worry about it. <coughs> he's just uh, Adrian's just a blood. Shannon's a crib. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, went into racing side by sides uh, with my wife. We just bought a side by side together and did the AVE series. Um, hit that pretty hard, and I just I had it in me that I just needed to go full bore. So we built a full tube chassis in 2015, and started racing in a 16, and just from then on just kept going. You know, realized that the sport is everybody is. <clears throat> hey, sponsor me, sponsor me, sponsor <clears throat> me. It just doesn't work that way. You know, you have to have, you know, return on investment, you know. So we did something different, just not racing, just doing all the lifestyle stuff, like sitting in a hot tub with two <laughs> dudes <laughs> in Utah at a non-race event. Um, it sells seats, don't worry about sunrise. it. Yeah, it sells seats. This is the PRP at hot sunrise. tub. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but. It's PRP yeah. party house. Each seat has a different <coughs> shape and, and body style. You just go yep. test it out. Yep. I am in the alpha. <laughs> Yeah, he's and, sitting uh, in the alpha. Uh, whoa, 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 claiming it. Adrian's uh, actually more in the S position. Uh -huh. <laughs> skiing, skiing position. And that's why I have one hand right? visible, dude, so I don't get any <laughs> hey, confused. That just means there's one smile at a time. That's all that means. <laughs> um, Pretty much. Yeah, so been racing ever since. Um, yeah. Uh, but really, how did really you get it, how'd you get it connected with these guys? Uh, so PRP introduced us at... Trail oh, Hero. no, yeah, Trail Hero. But then we had a couple trips, like, with EFX and Fuel is also a, a mutual sponsor, um, and uh, what Glamis yeah. a couple times, uh, Glamis a couple times, and then Trail Hero and like there's the a time, good yeah. there's a good story when we first actually met, kind of met when Adrian Adrian goes oh us. Matt Savage TV yeah oh man shout out to Matt shout yeah out to Matt. <laughs> so shout we're out Savage shooting TV. private photo shoot. Private. In Glamis. <laughs> in Glamis. Wait, how private? It, was this OnlyFans? Private photo shoot in it a public could, place. Now that OnlyFans is a thing, back then it wasn't. <laughs> it sure could was. be portrayed as that. Um, <laughs> but it's portrayed as that. We happen to have... Were you in front of the camera or behind the camera? I was way on the other side of it. <laughs> Wait, um, you, didn't, you didn't specify which side? <laughs> the, the other side, not not the side looking. <laughs> and You're not looking? Side no. looking? Not the look right. <laughs> so, uh, right. We had a model there in Glamis with our race car. Two piece little skimpy bikini, and I'm trying to keep people moving if they come Something up across us or whatever. Right now, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Skimpy. Um, and these guys pull up with like five or six cars and just park on top of a dune and just watching us. I'm like, really? I mean, do you blame like, us? Who Who are these guys <laughs> and why? So I'm like shooting them away. Like, hey guys, come on. Like, Guess you he's know, not watching. <laughs> running security. And Matt goes over security. to these guys and and starts talking to him because he knows them and all that stuff. But yeah, so that was our first run in with these guys. And just to be clear we did not pull up and say oh look they're modeling let's sit there and wait we were legitimately let's waiting wait for, matt. for matt let's yeah. sit there and watch <laughs> i didn't know that though so adrian's yeah. like look at these pervs kind of and not. then he finds this these guys are pulling out like 600 us. millimeter telephoto lenses <laughs> and now look at him yeah. he's in a jacuzzi with us <laughs> in between san Hall oh, at destroyers. sunrise between two destroyers that yes. needs to be the episode for sure oh. <laughs> good one though That's one adrian one, two destroyers Oh Whoa. my god, dude. <laughs> Between two destroyers, dude. Because I don't sacrifice my cars all the time. Uh pretty sure you do. Uh, uh you rolled it last year. Yeah. Oh, we gotta bring up old stuff. <laughs> Actually, I, you, you I, were you twice. able to drive it away though? Yep. So there you go. Yeah. After like 20, 30 minutes of letting it sit, yeah. Yeah. And some broken panels and panels are panels are yeah. And some hurt feelings and maybe a maybe a little broken ego. A little bit. Yeah. yeah Adrian <laughs> bit. Adrian couldn't push it as hard as me without rolling his car, so you know. Like a desert car. <laughs> go, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yes. It was the fuel tank on top yeah. that <laughs> the extra weight threw you over. That's not the yeah. story that I heard as what the extra weight was. Oh. <laughs> Our <Power> syrup. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ouch. Yeah, so, that's messed up. So do you guys race at all or just for fun? Or? So I race. Yeah, I race uh, short course <laughs> in YouTube Takeover. <laughs> Hill oh, Fest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wheelie Perfect. Fest. Pretty You're much a professional course, athlete. Basically. Should be a, a professional. Am I what? Pretty much a professional athlete. Uh, basically a professional course, athlete. Yeah. Yeah. This is a body of fine-tuned performance. Yeah, of it is. mass. This is a body of mass. Are you sponsored, <laughs> yeah. so Are you sponsored by like so destroyer winning, creatine and like a winning machine. protein power? Mm. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> All <right>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I raced actually whenever I was younger. You raced sexually? I what? raced quads. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Escalating. <laughs> I raced quads I when I was younger. Totally <laughs> yeah, you way heard the wrong thing. Get your head out of the gutter, bro. Um, yeah, I raced quads, District 38, when I was 16, 17, uh, almost 18, I think. And then 
go figure, blew it up. And yeah. um, that was obviously right when the recession was hitting. So couldn't afford to keep going. Um, but picked back up, got into UTVs and haven't looked back. So give us a little rundown of your cars. Uh, Adrian, why don't you start with yours since you're an actual racer? Um, uh, <laughs> wow. The race car or the... Yeah, yeah. or both. Yeah, so race people car... People are always interested in the build and, <coughs> you know, what people right. run. So my race car is a 2019 uh, Polaris XP1000. Uh, full Cognito tube uh, chassis. And then after that, it's just Cognito suspension, Fox, uh, fuel cell, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, and which, what series are you run, running with that? Uh, so I run Score and I run Best <coughs> in the Desert. Um, we got... PRP Alphas in there, all their storage bags that we have in the car, the necessary ones. Um, big radiator, so it's a four-seat chassis with the two seats taken out and big fuel cell in the back. Um, full length, radiator. or do you shorten it at all? Yeah, no, full length. <laughs> per, per the rules, we have to have that portion of it. Okay. Um, and then uh, my pre-runner now, my current pre-runner is a 2021 Turbo S. Um, dude, those things are amazing out of the box. So Fox revalved the shocks a little bit just for what we do personally. Um, I put a Fabworks cage on it with doors and nets and a couple things from uh, Alba down out of San Diego, uh, tune, exhaust from Trinity, all that stuff, and um, just minor stuff for Baja, like the tool bags, the impacts, the Pro Eagle jack that's mounted in the back, um, fuel tank, roof rack, that kind of stuff. Set up for an all-around car, not to squabble with these guys in the dunes, though. So. <laughs> yeah, you can't keep up. Yeah, I was going to say, does do that. that mean you just you fall behind? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm... I'm <laughs> I like to I like to put myself in the middle of the pack, <laughs> so, so I don't look as bad. Um, You're looking pretty good today. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you are. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there. It is. <laughs> you want me to go next about my car, and then Kyle can. Yeah, go ahead. And we'll uh, talk about your clapped out with two cars yeah. too. So let's let's That's start true. with one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a 2019 Turbo S, uh, four seater, that has. It's a rock crawler. It's definitely a rock crawler. It will be today. Yesterday and today. It will be <clears> today. <throat> But it's a, it's a dune car, show car. You know, I like to think it's a show car. Um, it's got a. a what what, is, what side of you is it showing? Oh, <sighs> the rear end. <laughs> <laughs> Always the good side. Always the best side. <laughs> so you, you just rewrapped it and all that too, right? It, uh, it's just it's on its all third guys, wrap, yeah. um, third set of custom painted fenders, front fascia, rear fascia, um, all that. Did a ton of changes over this last season. Uh, zebras, full full arms. Um, Full MTS suspension. Um, it did. I did a new cage on it after the 2019 2020 season. And <laughs> was that was that out of uh, <laughs> necessity or was that out um, of? <laughs> it was a good cage before. A lot of people wow. gave me some hate for it. You know about the way that it looked. So we we changed up the styling on it a little bit. Went with another. You folded the peer pressure as well. I heard. Uh, basically, yeah. Okay. So another pretty custom cage though it's it's kind of a one-off cage by tube smith uh fabrication in alpine um it's got full hmf bumpers front and rear with full hmf exhaust um, and then recently it's got a brand new turbo because i blew it up <laughs> a brand new primary because i blew it up a brand new intercooler because i blew it up <laughs> uh, there's a lot of new parts <laughs> so um how many yeah, miles you got on that car it's got a little over three thousand. And it's on its second tranny. The first tranny didn't blow up, though. I just, out of necessity, I swapped to a Pro XP tranny um, with Pro XP clutches just for a better clutching system. How has that worked out? Uh, actually, pretty good other, uh, until I blew up the primary. <laughs> so it's all self-inflicted, though. Self-inflicted wounds. Yes. Self-inflicted. But with the brand-new primary, things running freaking amazing. Yeah. Did you notice a difference between the, the original clutch and the Pro clutch? Um, yeah, they're better, slightly different. Better engagement, honestly. It it the tw the 2019 Turbo S clutches. It it kind of skips whenever you first start going. This thing is smooth, and the engagement into drive into high. The gear, gear changes are a lot smoother. A lot smoother. Yeah. You, gotta, you just got to keep the the clutches clean. That's really the biggest thing, or else you know it's you're smacking it to get it to pop out of gear. Are you guys a, a clutch cover off or we, a clutch we used cover to on? Be. Yeah, on my old NA car, I I ran no clutch cover yeah. like the whole season, but my on the RS1, clutches, yeah. knock on wood, the RS1 has only blown a belt because I pulled John's heavy ass car out of the dunes. <laughs> Other than that, I have yet to blow sorry. a belt or any, <laughs> or even have to take the clutch cover off for any maintenance reasons. Yeah, my secondary exploded once. So that was fun. That's that's the hole on the clutch cover. Yeah, no. the oh. different clutch actually. Oh, that was my right. the the 19 Turbo S. 
factory clutch. The back has like a triangle, like little thing on it, and that piece broke, which allowed the spring oh. to shoot out. You couldn't tell that it was broken, so I changed the belt, and it shredded a brand new belt in like three minutes. Right. Ouch. So it was fun. So Kyle, what do you got going on? Uh, just finished up a brand new 2021 Turbo S Velocity build. <clears throat> uh, full SDR doors, SDR cage. Brand new GT3 PRP seats with uh, PRP 5.3 harnesses all the way around. PRP steering wheel, PRP, 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 PRP. Like everything in there. It's a PRP office. It's, it's a PRP office. Very <laughs> comfortable. It's PRP <laughs> headquarters in there. Yeah. Uh, so you sold I, out to PRP. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and no it's plug. my first car with a windshield. Yesterday was amazing. Everybody oh. came back with a dirty <clears throat> face. And I was just like chilling. But how many times did you have to wipe the windshield? That's that was my, just. That's you know what? Thing. Honestly, that was just out of. I could have drove with a dirty windshield. Right. If we're gonna stop, why not clean your windshield? I guess. Same thing as you wiping your visor. Uh, so I, I wear headsets the whole time. So. Yeah. yeah. Really I, don't know. I, I prefer a windshield, and, it, and mine has a wipe, hand wiper on it. But. Then the other oh, car cool. is a, a 2019 RS1. All. I mean, everything that can be thrown on it is pretty much on it. Other than long I, travel? Yeah, next will be probably a Zebra 72-inch kit, and then possibly a Pro XP motor, but we'll see if that goes that way. So when you guys are out running around and, and doing all this stuff, like when you guys go to Glamis and post videos and photos of you guys jumping and stuff, what's going through your head on that? Because, like, is it just, we're going to destroy, send it, or is it like, I'm going to think about this, see how people go up to it, feel it out? So I usually let John go <laughs> first. <laughs> Like, Why is that, Kyle? And uh, so funny how he's we'll, the one that breaks everything first. We'll just like, we'll just jump to the sunset yeah. hip jump because you know that's the only one he's going to talk about. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> no. So uh, we, I didn't talk about we, swing set. That one was pretty good though. I, w- I wouldn't hit swing set because I watched yeah. Ruslan hit it like four times and just land on the top. Eels and I probably rolled. outweigh him by three hundred pounds. So no, I was like, mm, you know, no, I'm not going to make it to the other side. And but sunset, I was like, oh, I could hit that. It's not that fast of a jump. <laughs> then I see John hit it, and he's 30 feet in the air <laughs> for a good, solid 150 to 180 feet. It was four maybe seconds, more. Four seconds in the air. Yeah, so yeah, that's, a that's, a time. Time. that's a long time. Think about that. That's a long time. <laughs> you don't think it's a long time until you're in the air for four I seconds. I think the most like, I've oh ever been in the God. air is about three seconds or so, yeah. and that scared the piss out of me. Yeah. So I said no to that one, but like one of my favorite jumps in, in uh, Glamis is probably Osborne, just because it has a smooth hit and a smooth landing. I've only seen one person crash on it, so yeah, poor Tyson. So would it be safe to say that you're the more prudent of the uh, jumpers in the group? He's no, more the Shannon dune. is. Oh, yeah, Shannon is for sure. He's more the dune than the destroy. Shannon, He's the Shannon dune. Gets We're like the destroy. This, he got like this half again. Shannon got some air. This half. Yeah, at Huckfest. Yeah, I think it was an inch. inch. <laughs> Shannon got an inch. Shannon off has the ground? the mo- yeah the most horsepower but there basically and went the the shortest distance. That's okay. So in Oregon, you, we had a kind of a bummer, bummer jump. It was a little tall, a little bit rounded. People didn't really yeah. get to go very far. A lot of people walking on it. That's why. A lot of people were destroying the lip yeah. of it. It, you, it started the week off pretty nice, but it, just, it still was a pretty tall jump. So the NA cars, like Kyle's, still lost a lot of power towards the top end of that hill. I mean, I saw a sick with it hit it yeah. two days prior when you guys were trying to scope and or like shape the lip. Fold the front end of his. He car. went <laughs> so far and then tap the rear and or tap the brake, so he'd come down and he just folded. The whole front end, it yeah. was like, yeah. whoa! It was but then he oh. went and replaced it all Dude. and, and, and sent that, it again. That guy replaced the front end of his car like three times that weekend. <laughs> I cannot believe. It. I Shout out to Brandon Raddick yeah, and uh, Rainier Off Road and That's all the crazy. different guys that support yeah. him. Absolutely, Moto Havoc. Uh, but here in uh, Utah, we got a pretty sweet little jump set up there and yeah. uh, did Looking some test hits earlier. One. I wish I could get a test hit. I know, right? I asked about that last night, but that's yeah. not happening. So that's not I. happening. Yeah. It's not we don't happening. want you guys to destroy the we're jump. Not, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not UTV Takeover Pro athletes. Oh yeah, you're so. right. You're not you're sponsored right. yet. Neither is Brent. You guys are sold out to PRP. We can't. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is the PRP <laughs> party, this, this party, party tub. Okay. Yeah, this is the PRP party tub. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a hot tub time machine. PRP this is time hot machine tub right Adrian here. machine. You. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so uh, you guys, you guys are going out. Uh, you're going to be rock crawling today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, uh, Brandon from HCR and Aaron from uh, PRP is going to be uh, escorting us as we don't know some of these trails. Um, I don't know what trail names we're doing. But it should be fun though. You yeah, guys should do back door. <laughs> I don't think that's here. Oh. You're trying to mess with me. That's oh, that's, 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 that's in Johnson Valley. Yeah, that's KOH. I the was fact, like, oh, they have the fact that you guys know and are yeah. familiar with. 
<laughs> you tried to catch me. You tried. Yeah. You tried. I'm everywhere. The only back door that's in here is. Aiden Whoa. Fantasy. Really, dude. Whoa. Again, with the family <laughs> friendly. <laughs> family friendly. You're a firefighter. I apologize, people. <laughs> you live with a lot of men all the time. So I don't know why you're squirming over here, guy. You should be the one making us feel uncomfortable. I got nothing for that one. Yeah, you don't. I got nothing. So uh, I got what, nothing. Uh, what activities at Takeover are you guys thinking about uh, participating in? Uh, all of them that are left, for the most part, short course, the Rally Fest, which sounds like it's going to be super gnarly, so I'm kind of a little worried about that one. Wait, what's the Rally Do we fest? need to get Casey's yeah. off-road recovery up on the hill for you oh. when you... No, when I can recover my own cars. Done it plenty of times. Rolling it yeah. down the hill okay. isn't considered recovery. <laughs> Three-wheel it out, bro. Well, <laughs> every time. that's kind of like you're helping the situation. Yeah. Instead of stopping mid-hill rolling, you just commit to going all the way down. Yeah, if you're going to roll it, just down. go all the way down so you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. yeah. No, I get that's it. what I was trying to tell Darren well. last year, but... That didn't work. Um, that did happen. But not all the way down. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. It was, it was one roll. <laughs> that was Adrian's first roll of that day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we went, uh, <laughs> went to the A lot of people don't know you were year. in the passenger seat. I, that's kind Bruce. of a good thing. Well, so so, so give us a know. recap of what we're talking about. People might not know what um, we're talking about. So we had an event last year here at the same location. And, um, yeah, uh, there's, I forgot what, potato chip or whatever. No, I don't know it's the what. edge of the potato world. Potato chips yeah. in Poway. Bro. Know, dude. So it's right next to the top of the world it, uh, is this little yeah. section. This pretty yes. crazy ledge, and um, me, and Darren, me and Darren were looking at it. So I hit it first with my car <laughs> just to the right of like the main cliff. And uh, as soon as I hit it, I'm like, dude, we got to go to the lip on the left. So I called up Darren on the So on you the actually radio. hit it and made it? Yeah, but dude, it was just like. No, he went off the little two-inch step. A, I was, uh, like, I was like Shannon. I was yeah. like Shannon. And. Yeah. So I hit it the first time just to make sure it was good, and then I was like, "Dude, this lip kind of sucks. We got to go just a few feet to the left." And as soon as I said that, Darren's like, "I'm looking at it right now, man. Get up here and we'll check it out." And it took me a minute to get back up, but by that point, Darren was already in the car. Just want to point out, I said this is a bad idea from the get-go. As an experienced as destroyer, an experienced jumper, <laughs> Darren destroyer. has never driven like, a UTV. Bro, bad idea. Darren Parsons hasn't driven a UTV since. You know, he has now. And, well, now he has, and. Um, Shout out to Darren. So, He's out there. He is. He's so here. we get in the car, and Darren's like, hey, Adrian, get in the car with me, man. I was like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever, man. I'll let you die alone. That's because Chris so. Eisenhower was smart and said, hey, Nick, get the hell out of the passenger seat. You're yeah. not doing a front flip down this hill. Yeah. <laughs> and then Parsons like, Adrian, let's front flip this beach. <laughs> so we get in the car, and as soon as he takes off, I thought he was doing kind of just like a little run-up, and he just he went for it at like, you know, I don't Three know. Three miles 15, an hour? 15 miles an hour. Three? 10 miles an hour. It was like three miles So an hour. it just knows. It, just, so it just, looked like he just was like, went yeah. to a complete stop in midair and yeah. just dropped. So it was just, uh, he didn't understand the, the turbo lag and all that kind of stuff. So I we think went for a little ride. <laughs> we went for a little ride. Yeah. Fast forward an hour later, um, we were going back to the house and these guys saw dunes and they scattered like little ants. So I started doing some of it and I ended up rolling my car mm -hmm. <laughs> like an hour later. Yeah. So I'm funny. just like, just take me home, dude. We're I'm all like I'm done right now. doing cool dune shots, throwing a gnarly roost. I did some Adrian's good ones, like, by the way. Oh, well, I could do it better than you, bro. Whoop, I am on that freaking lid. And he was like, whoop, yeah. And then, I like, whoop, He <laughs> <laughs> was like, whoop, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mess them all up. I, uh, um, yeah, what, so what was it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was a fun time. That's actually the first time I rolled a new TV. Wow, you've yeah. never rolled racing? Into a, a corner? A UTV. <laughs> a UTV. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait. That would be what a race car. What else are we talking about? Yeah. Well, um, you know, racing a long time with uh, with my dad and all that stuff. 516, if you're not oh, familiar, yeah. it's like a Baja bug and all that stuff. Those things, when they roll, they just keep going. The body shape and all that stuff. So it's we race. circle. Yeah. yeah. So we rolled quite a few times on those cars. <laughs> so every time people get in the car with me for the first time, I always tell them, hey, man, just like a roller coaster, keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle. And if we decide to roll, man, the best thing you could do is just cross your arms and keep your eyes open because it's going to be a super cool ride, you know? <laughs> so For sure. We got cages. We got good seats, you know, PRP, uh, five-point seat belts. Name good drop. Cage, <laughs> name, name drop. Um, Sell out. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I, I've rolled a few times with those with those harnesses and those seats. And, the ZFX and, tires just yeah. want to hook up so much. They just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah. It's all, it's, it's all the tires. Kyle, have you ever rolled a UTV? I have rolled a UTV. Laid it over. I've rolled. Have you rolled your UTV? I have not rolled a t UTV over. I've done a front flip. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was right back here last year. 
coming around a corner, oh, used to driving. Uh, I was used to driving four seat car, and the RS one is significantly oh, smaller. Oh, baby. hey! The lights boy. went out, mm. and Netflix is over. Netflix and chill. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> coming around the corner, thought I could hit this little lip, like a four seater oh. would have transitioned <laughs> fine over it. This is really awkward. And it just front flipped me right, over. I give him my arm. You're, you're making me yeah. feel weird. Now you're getting tangled oh, up. <laughs> <laughs> made him flinch. Made him feel awkward. So that yeah. what car was that? One more to go. That was RS one. RS one. Yeah. Just came hey, in a little you just too landed hot. Landed on your wheels or what? What's up? You landed on your wheels? No. no. Landed on the roof. Yeah. It was funny. Well, it nose picked, and then kind of like over. Landed on the roof. Yeah. Oh. You can pick. So your, that's not a you roll. Pick your nose and you can pick your friends. You can't pick that's friends. That's not a roll. So who can do a wheelie? I'm the only one in this group that has the wheelie fest win. Well, right. so in well, our really, group, yeah, I was gonna of the group in UTV takeover. Bro, yeah. I wheelied my four seat Razor in Glamis, Wheelie so. fest this time. Yeah, I don't know if right I can do it with Hobbies on Saturday, yeah, yeah, but I'll give it a shot. That. Yeah, you guys should try. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah. We'll, we'll see who can get it up. <laughs> yeah, that was a loaded question. Wow, that was a loaded question. There was no question about. Yeah, that. those guys with their <laughs> rock dudes. <laughs> these guys with thirty-five inch rock crawler razors are not gonna pull a wheelie. Rock You'd be surprised who can do what around here. RS One's gonna take it. I can see it. Yeah, man. You and Brandon Raddick will have to, to throw down. Raddick holds the current record at 263 feet. Oh here? My yeah, I don't even think. Go in the water? Not not here, and he did that oh, in Oregon, but. I was going to say. But he has the takeover record of 263 feet. He did that in someone else's car. Feet? Yeah, 263 no, 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 that was, feet straight into the water here. Yeah, he was in a cannon when he won it. The 263 feet was the year prior in his Polaris Razor Turbo. Oh. Ah. And then the year last year, his car broke down because he had trashed it. And then. Uh, the whole transmission and stuff went out. Um, nice. He borrowed somebody's Can Am X3, never driven a Can Am in his life. It went 188 feet, and, right? And went 100, uh, or he went a lot. He went far. He, went he won. Lot. And uh, it was pretty impressive. That's <laughs> that's a good, that's and the guy, the guy comes up, he's like, I asked the wife, she said you could use the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like brand new. It had just got done wrapped, all just yeah, brand new right. stuff on it. That's yeah, awesome. he did a good job, so. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good show. Uh, you guys probably are going to have a great time this weekend if you don't destroy your car again. Try not to. And uh, Kyle actually destroyed last time we were here, so it wasn't even me. Yeah, I front flipped it, then folded a whole arm off the car. Yeah. And there's already been some carnage out there the last couple of days. Some oh, people sure. taking. I wish I could see footage of all this stuff that we uh, yeah that we did last year. Wow. But yeah. I haven't seen that footage. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to say a word. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a good show. Uh, thanks for joining me up on the rooftop. This is uh, I'm actually we we're staying right next to each other. This is kind of cool. Yeah, we're in we'll the house next door. We'll have to have a little group to we get uh, a group party sesh. You can come on in. Swap. Come Just on come in. on in the, in yeah. the tub. I gotta I get gotta in. get my butt over and start working. Why don't you get in now? I would love to get in. You come on. Uh, I don't got time. There's Do it for room. the gram. Do it for the gram. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take care of these boys for the next few minutes. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, give us the rundown hello. where we can find you guys online. For those that don't follow you online, uh, Adrian, why don't you start since these boys take too long? I know, right? Uh, RanchoRacing.com and uh, Rancho Racing handle on uh, Instagram and all the other ones and all that stuff. So post some good content, in-car footage of the race car, and then also the shenanigans that happens here. So Yes. And you can find us www.dunedestroy.com as well as dune underscore and underscore destroy on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube for sure. Subscribe to our YouTube because you see all the cool stuff that we do. All who the big who does all the video editing? Media guy. It's actually uh, Seven Slot Society. <laughs> yeah. I thought you he does. Did he does our glamis. No, oh, you started editing, yeah. giving it to Angel. Oh, yeah. that's nice. cool. Angel does a really good job. So, oh, yeah. but Kyle is our official media guy. Gotcha. Like I'll run destroyed. around with the camera and get the shots and do yeah. that stuff, but I'm like since, I don't, since you're not jumping and just hanging Kyle's out, yeah. chief marketing or fixing his car officer because he does all the media. <laughs> so media and marketing, same same. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, you can find the podcast on Apple, Google, Spotify, all the different places, iHeartRadio. You can find us on YouTube and watch these guys in a hot tub. Uh, if you haven't been watching and been listening, check it out on YouTube. You uh, you can do the hashtag for the nipple. And uh, until the next time, guys. Mm. Peace.